same, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Lord, we commit to Lord. This Sunday school service unto you, Lord. We are waiting, O Lord, for the directive from the Holy Spirit, O Lord. We cannot do anything without you, Lord. Lord, let the Holy Spirit take control. Today, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we commit every instrument, O Lord, and all our brethren that are handling them, we commit them unto you, Lord. Lord, may you cause them to walk perfectly this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Every contrary spirit, O Lord, in this auditorium, Lord, we are taking total control over them in the name of Jesus Christ. Every marine water spirit, O Lord, the prince of hell, wherever they are gathered together against your children this morning, Lord, dear Father, we scatter them, O Lord, by the power of Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. All their cancers, bring them to north, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. All their plan, O Lord, Father, we bring them to north in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, Father. We appreciate you. I commit every segment of today's service unto you, Lord. Take preeminence, O Lord, Father. Thank you. As we continue, Lord, may you continue with us, O Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Praise God. This morning, we will not waste most of our time. I just have a need to encourage ourselves. It's what we have been hearing often and often. Pastor, especially you know, most of the prophet's message revolve around faith, love and faith. Likewise, our pastor. So anytime you see, you know, you would like, even if possible, you would like to even to open our hearts and put that faith there. That's how it should be. And God will help us to have faith, to always have faith and believe his word. You know, coming to church and all these things, it doesn't mean that we have faith in the word of God. No. We will take God's grace to have faith in this world. So let's open our Bible to the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 16. We are going to read from verses 1 to 9. This morning's uh, service will be brief. The Sunday school will be brief enough. God will help us. Proverbs chapter 16, verses 1 to 9. I read, the preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. That is how God wants it to be. All our plans, everything, and then it should be from the Lord. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. But the Lord will let the Spirit commit thy works unto the Lord. And thy thoughts shall be established. The Lord has made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Everyone that is proud in, in art is an abomination to the Lord's to the Lord. Though and joy in hand is and not be unpunished. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be a peace with him. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenues without right. A man's heart devised his way, but the Lord directed his step. O Lord, dear Father, King of glory, we thank you once again for your word, O Lord. May you come down, O Lord, Father, and speak through me. I don't know anything, O Lord. Prepare our soul, Lord, to receive your word this morning so that, O Lord, at the end of this service, O Lord, we have we become a better Christian, O Lord, unto you. Grant it, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Praise the Lord. Let us have a seat. This morning, we look into this uh, small topic. Negative thought. Negative thought. See where we read? He said, that first theory, commit thy works on to the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. You see, your thoughts shall be what? Established. 
Now, the question is, it, it could be negative thought, and it could be what? Positive thought. So any thought that you have in your mind shall be what? Established for you. It shall come to pass. God will sanction it. This has caused problem for many so-called Christians. So believe that uh, some Christians, they say they have been praying all this while. They pray, pray, and pray, and pray, and pray. But it seems that God doesn't hear them. He doesn't answer their prayer. My brother, let me tell you, God hears and answers prayer. It's your attitude, my attitude. By allowing negative thoughts to dominate our soul, that hinder our prayer. See this verse, see the verse 3. He said that, commit thy works unto the Lord, and the thoughts, and thy thoughts shall be what? Shall be established. Your thoughts shall be established. My thoughts shall be established. Now, depending on the thought that you are allowed to dominate your heart. That was a time, sorry for this. I remember there was a time when our precious brother, our papa, was teaching on either faith. He said that when he was, uh, sorry sir, for saying this. He said when he was small, he, he normally have that thought, that has some thought in his heart. That too. Okay, he said even he came to a certain period that, okay, well, when it's around, around age of 40, I'll get married. That thought he has in the mouth. And then, before you know what is happening, that thought came to pass. It was established. When he was saying it, I said, Lord, thought. He just had that thought in his mouth, in his heart. And it came to pass. There was a brother too. That brother, before he left, he said that he, was, he has left the church. And he said he was sitting down in his house. There was a time he was sitting down in front of his house. You see, that thought just came to him that this is where they are going to bury you. You soon die, I will bury you here. Do you know what he did? The brother said that he, ran, he gave testimony here. He said he ran to the pastor. He said, Pastor, this what this thought that came to my mind. And Pastor prayed for him, anointed him. And that's how God raised that, that thought. That negative thought. If not, it would have been established for him. And it will come to pass. So we should not allow neg negative thought to dominate our heart. Where we have been prayed for. Have faith. Believe. Don't allow any negative thought. No, many thoughts will cross your mind. You come to us, okay, have you forgotten so, 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 so person? This is the same sickness that killed him or her. Your own cannot be an expression. When that come, when that talk, talk come, don't rebuke it. Say no, it's the Lord that He let me, and it's at permanent. God has healed me and healed me already. Keep on confessing it. But when you listen to that thought, if Christ, this is that verse, he say it shall be established unto you. If you listen to that thought and you allow it to dominate us, it will come to pass. Or are we going to blame? We can't blame God. God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, our prophet told us that we should, the, the negative, the, the someone that, uh, one with a negative thought cannot receive anything from God. You know, it's direct quote. If you have negative thought, our prophet told us that you cannot receive anything from God. Let's go and see, let's look at it. 58.0625. A greater than Solomon is here. Negative thought. When it comes, just let, don't let us allow it to dominate our soul, our heart. God will help us in Jesus' name. 58.0625. A greater, a greater than Solomon is a paragraph 17. One cannot get anything from God with a negative thought. Fifty-eight zero six two five. The greater than Solomon is here. God bless you. Yes. See, then in the twelve in the twelfth chapter of Saint Matthew, Matthew Gospel and twenty-fourth verses, we wish to read for a moment. This was, it is a little text that I've read many times and spoke on it. And the reason I, 
I'm taking it to okay. It's because I could hurry with it to get to the point that I wish to get to before prayer for the sick. And while I'm praying, I'm speaking. And while I'm praying, I'm speaking. I want every person in here to have this in your mind that as soon as prayer begins to go for the sick, every one of you is going to get up and walk out of the building. Where? Don't have nothing else in your mind. That is, don't have nothing else in your mind. Believe that you are going to walk where? You are going to get where? Everybody is going to receive his healing or a healing. That will not have any other thing, any negative thought, but that positive thought. Don't have nothing else in your mind. Keep thinking that if there be any praise, if there be any virtue, think on this thing. You cannot get anything from God with a negative thought. You see? He said you cannot get anything from God with negative thought. You know, see, most of the time, we hinder our own prayer by having what? Negative thoughts. When God said, as I, as I, the Lord has supplied all your needs, why can't you just believe it? I will look, I will look, on to, uh, look my eyes onto the hill from where my help comes. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. That is it. Believe it. All the promises in the Bible is ours. We should not allow the devil to deprive, to deprive us of all this by planting negative thoughts in our heart. God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. That's it. One cannot receive anything from God with that negative thought. You see? Then, you know, when in Proverbs 16, verse 3, where we just read, yes, that's it. Any thought, anything you have in your mind, in your thought, shall be established, either positive or negative. The word of God is that shall be established unto you. So why? Why, why are you now allowing negative thoughts to be established for you instead of positive thoughts? God will help us in Jesus' name. Now, what kind of thoughts are we allowed to dominate our soul this morning? What kind of thoughts? Is it positive or negative thoughts? If you have positive thoughts in your heart, in your soul, then it shall be established for you. And if you have negative thoughts also, then it will be established for you. So, we don't have any cause to blame God for that. God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want us to know that the Bible said that the thought that God has to all us is what? Is thought of peace and not of evil to give us an expected end. That is the plan of God for us. Thought of peace and not of evil. But now, why we now allow Satan to apply negative thoughts that are contrary to the word of God into our soul? Then you are saying that God will not be able to perform all what he has promised. And uh, that is the root of unbelief. God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. So let's go to that. Uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. The thought of, the, of God towards us, thought of peace and not of peace. For I, know, for I know the thought that I think towards you, say the Lord, thought of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. That is thought of God towards us, not negative thought. No negative, not decisive, not all these things. Thought of peace and not of evil. Negative thought is of the evil. But when God has this thought towards us, and we are now going contrary, God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go to Psalm 139, verse 17. Psalm 139. Psalm 139. Verse 17. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God. How great is the sum of them. The thoughts of God to us are so precious. 
they are, they are, they are, you can't count them. They are uncountable. So we should not allow negative thought to dominate our soul. God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let, let's go to the message again. I know this morning's message will be brief enough. We just bring this one to encourage ourselves. But at times, you know, this thought, even, it doesn't do, you, 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 don't tell me that I'm a minister. I'm a, it comes at times. But we don't allow it to stay. I probably say that it's just like a farmer. I say this best, you cannot say best will not fly over your head, over your roof. But you cannot allow it to make, to prepare nest on your yes. You say no, this one I will not allow you to do this. But you cannot say okay, you should not fly. No. So when they comes, when that negative storm come, use the word of God to counter it. Simple. We have everything that we are in need of to counter Satan at any time. We have the word of God. We have the message of the hour. They are there for us. But our problem is that we are so lazy. We don't have time for it. We allow all this worldliness to take most of our time. Especially phone, answers. This mobile phone. God will help us. See, some can be with phone from, from morning to the evening. I don't know what you are, what you are looking for. I if you are, you are reading Bible or any other thing, there is good. All message is good. But what? WhatsApp, Facebook. They can see that we can be sending messages from morning to the evening. Even if we are talking to them, they will not even listen to you. Then later, they will not say, hey, it's like you are talking to me. Well, maybe after hours or two hours, they will not say, oh, sorry, are you talking to me? It's wrong. All this precious time. Let us sit down. Carry your Bible. See where we are living now. Wickedness everywhere. See hardship. Where do we where do we run to? We have to run to the Lord. But this word of God is there, everything that can save you. But you abandon it. You are running after worldliness. God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Sorry for that. Let's go to 550115 law paragraph 18 negative thoughts is of the devil Fifty-five zero one one Negative thoughts. Now, Paul speaking here of the folly or the shadow, rather, the law being a shadow of good things to come, and never make and never make the worshipper perfect. That, that this law can never make the perfect. Then he goes on to show what the perfection is. Now it is a strange thing that this is so much thought of people. They say, well, I'm weak. That is thought of the, most of the people, so-called Christians say, I'm, and then, I, well, I'm weak, but my faith is not very much. Your faith, when the Bible says that if you have a faith that as much as a mustard seed, that small one, and you are saying your faith is small. So what are you doing? You are, you are saying contrary to the word of God. My faith is not very much. I'm not a very good Christian. That is just what the devil wants you to say. That is what Satan puts in your soul. That is thought, negative thought that Satan puts there to say. But we don't allow you don't allow Satan to succeed. God will help us. That is just what the devil wants you to say. You are just talking his language. Right then. You are speaking his language. Devil's language. Negative thought is devil's language. While every language is positive thought. 
You mustn't, you mustn't never say that. Our brother, you never, mustn't never say all those things, that I'm weak, I'm not a good Christian. No, you mustn't say that. Don't never let your testimony be negative. Don't, let, don't never let your testimony be what? Be negative. Let it be positive all the time. I am safe. I have God in my heart. I believe him with all my heart. That's it. I believe it. When you keep on conf confess it, that confession will come to pass. I'm safe. I have God in my heart. I believe him with all my heart. Do you believe in divine healing with all my heart? Let your testimony always and your thought, everything, be positive. Never permit a negative thought to come in your mind. If you can help it. If you can help it, don't allow, I don't ever allow it to come to your mind, to your soul. Let your testimony always, always, and your thought and everything. Never per permit a negative thought to come in your mind. If you can help it, when it starts, when it starts that, don't entertain it. When it comes, don't do what? Don't entertain it. Don't allow it to stay. Well, you say, I can't help the thought from coming. Yes, they'll be coming. You might not be able to help them. But you have every right to say, you, this evil, this evil thought, get out of my soul. Get out of my mind. The thought of God towards me is thought of peace and not of evil. To give me an expected end. Yes, that's it. It will leave. I can't help the thought from coming. Well, that will be okay. That, that will be like the farmer that said he couldn't stop. He couldn't stop the birds from flying over his place, but he could not. He could sure stop them from roasting, both roosting, uh, prepare a uh, nest. So that is that is a good thing. You see, you can't help the thought when they come, but don't entertain them. Just pass it on. Forget about it. This one is, no, sir. See, Jesus Christ is my Savior. All things are, are mine by God. I'm going to keep them. I'm going to testify of them. And God can only bless you as you confess that he has done it for you. When you confess it, that's the only way God can bless you. I will bring it to pass. See, he is the height of, he, he, he is the high priest of our confession. Is that right? Hebrew 3. He said, he said that he is the high priest of our confession. He can only do for us as we accept it and believe it and confess it. God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go further. Let's go to another place. Negative thought. We should not allow it to, we should not even entertain it. Allow it to come to state. Another place, 560311 E. 53. That's paragraph 30, 56, sorry, 56, 03, 11E. God using the gift, paragraph 30, 53, 56, 03, 11E. God's using this gift, paragraph 30. When you think about God, when you keep your mind, oh, you are you, yeah, you sit in the church and think about everything, but everything else but God. How you are going to do your watching? What are you going to do to, at the office tomorrow? How are you going to do this, that, or the other? Keep your mind off of that and think on God. That when we are in the church, when you are sitting down like this. A lot of thoughts will be coming down to you. Even some, some people, will be, the thought of money, counting money, will be running their mind. Yes, will be running their mind. When you are in the church, and the place of will be, your mind will be in the office tomorrow, what you are going to do, immediately you live here. Concentrate. Leave all those things. 
God will take perfect control. I remember in a former church, there was a time we had the student Sunday school class, I think so. They were, they were asking questions. Then the brother wanted to answer. Maybe they say, how many disciples did Jesus Christ uh, ask, add? The brother wanted to say 12. He said 12,000. 12,000 naira. Everybody was laughing. <laughs> you see? So that mind, that money was his mind. And that's the one he's crossing. It's true. Unless maybe my brother can remember. Eh? 12,000. What? You see? That thought of money. And you are in the house of the Lord. God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, when you think about God, when you keep your mind, oh, you are thinking, you are, you are okay, you sit in the church, you sit in church and think about everything else but God. When you are able to, you, are, you, you, you just forget about every other thing. Be thinking of God. Be focused. And how you are going to do your washing? What are you going to do at the office tomorrow? How are you going to do this, that, or the other? Keep your mind off of that or of that and think on God. The Bible said, if there be any praise, if there be any virtue, think on this thing. You see? Wonder if I be called in the prayer. Okay, that's it. Let me let me see. Yes, wonder if I be called in the prayer line. Wonder if God will speak. Don't think that kind of a negative thought. When we have been prayed for, or you are in the prayer line, you don't think of that kind of negative thought. Don't let it go through your mind. Make every word positive and every thought positive. Every let your, your word be yea and yea and yea and amen. Your, your, your yea be yea, your yes be yes, your no be no. When you the eyes of the law, or you have been praying anywhere you find yourself, be positive enough. Don't allow neg negative thought to come to your mind. Make every word positive and every thought positive. See? That is it. God will help us in Jesus' name. Let's go. Last place this morning. Rub your hand up. The last one. 59. 1, 2, 6. What is the Holy Ghost? Paragraph 13. And there we are round up. God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophet said that one cannot receive anything from God with uh, a negative thought. So we allow that one to seek down to our heart this morning. We do not allow negative thought to dominate our heart. 59, 12, 16. 12, 16. 59, 12, 16, paragraph 13. Paragraph 13. What is the Holy Ghost? What is the Holy Ghost? Paragraph 13. The other night, at around a little, uh, a little after midnight, the wife and I, after setting up and praying and talking to the Lord across the little footstool in, in, in uh, front, in front room. With two open Bibles, we consecrated, we concentrated, we cause consecrated ourselves and new to God for a complete service. What we will surrender that, that we will surrender our wills and everything and every negative thought and to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. So that should be our outsider. We will surrender everything, our will. We surrender negative thought. We should raise it from our soul, from our heart, in order to serve God. If truly we want to serve God, we cannot come to Him with negative thought. It won't work. We cannot come to God with our own will. It will not work. We must surrender them, and God will help us. And I trust that that has been okay. And I trust that 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 has been your attitude too. My brother, that has been your attitude too. You surrender your will, your negative thoughts, everything, to come to the house of God, to come and serve God. You don't allow anything to hinder your prayer or to hinder your, your service to God. You don't allow worldliness to hinder your service unto the Lord. That you have done the same thing 
Then when we are coming tonight, we are coming upon holy grants among the people who have been praying and fasting and making restitution and getting ready to receive something from God. And I know that he, he, and I know that he that will come hungry will not go away hungry, but God will feed with the bread of life. And God will help us this morning as we have come, we come here hungry and will not go away hungry in the name of Jesus Christ. God will feed us with the word of life in Jesus' name. Then we will come to the end of the service today. So please permit me before I go, let me just seize the opportunity to testify to what God did for me. On last Sunday, during the prayer meeting here, I, 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 healing service, I call it healing service here. When we came down here to come and receive our healing, when the pastor was praying for us, something happened that even surprised my wife. You know this thing, when I started those drugs, I told you about the, what, the testimony that I gave about two weeks ago, that the drugs started making me feel somehow, somehow weak, that I might not have no strength, all this thing. Until that last Sunday, when I came down, pastor prayed, he prayed for me, anointed everybody here. When I got back home on that, that Sunday, then the following Monday, you know, let me just start from here. Sorry, I still have about uh, 10 minutes, so I don't want to come out again to come and take your time. Then before, on Friday, me and my wife, we went somewhere. And then there, we have some blood and uh, boots and our boots, a car boot. And uh, we need to offload that. We, offload, we offloaded the load on Friday. We cannot go there without uh, load. Then, on Saturday, on Sunday, and then on the morning, on Monday morning, we have to place those loads. We have to place it back. Right? There are some two bags, very heavy. I think, I think it took, at that time it takes two people to carry it. Very way, full of clothes. So on the morning, on the Monday morning, that Sunday after prayer, then the morning, very morning, she was preparing to go to work. And those bags have to be placed back. Do you know what I did? My wife was telling me, don't carry anything. I'm not sending you work. I'm not doing that all this while. I don't know. The strength just came from that Lord. I carried the bag. Before she even came out, I carried all the bag. Bam, in the boot. I went to carry the second one. It bam. That the bag that took, it, took, it would take two people to carry. Since here you can testify. And they told you I've gone to the work. Who am I? I said, no, I will, I will carry it. The strength, I just, I carried everything. You know, she just came. See, ah, ah. I said, you are looking at me. You are used to use the eyes of yesterday to look at me. I'm a new man now. Look at me. This friend has come back. She was surprised. So my brother and sister, that's the great testimony. When, we are, when you are serving the Lord, and then you have positive thought in your mind, everything will work together, will work good for you, according to his way. We don't have to entertain any fear. Our own just erase that negative thought from your heart completely. When you have been prayed for, believe that you have received, you can keep on confessing it. Look at that blind man that Brother Abraham prayed for. Brother Abraham said that he did not receive his reading instantly. But Brother Abraham said that keep on confessing it. When he now went to that Babylon saloon, he said, pray, praise the Lord. That's right, praise the Lord. I can see. If they are making jest of him. But when he got to that Babylon saloon, it was Babylon. He said, pray, pray, praise the Lord. I can see. Immediately the house opened. When he saw everything, he started running. They are pursuing him. Madman, come back. He said, I'm not mad. I can see. I can see. What? Confession. God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Sorry for saying that. It's good to confess. And I thank God for my wife too. About uh, last week, she was having a serious uh, uh, teeth ache. So serious. Pains. But when pastor was praying on that Friday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Monday. In fact, a great relief. And it just went back to where it came from. Once she can now, even she can cross bone now. She's here. <laughs> so that even eating fish at times, she find it difficult. I thank God for that. And uh, yesterday, God added another a wonderful year age to her age. She was plus one yesterday, Saturday, 25th. I really thank God for what he has been doing for her. They have been so helpful, so honest, so faithful, my brother and sister. If I was to tell you, in fact, as they have been helping me, even this ministry, they have been so helpful. 
I've never seen a woman like that. Somebody that will collect a salary. The one that even bathed me, collect the salary. I don't work for her. I don't know how much she was getting there. Collect salary. Remove the tithe. I said, yeah, this is my salary. How do we spend this? I will be the one to, to dictate how we are going to spend the salary. So I don't have any problem. I don't have to the fact. I really thank God for that. And God continue to strengthen you. God continue to keep you ill and healthy. And every plan of enemy concerning you, God will bring them to naught in the name of Jesus. So happy birthday to you. I know it's very shy. Sorry for all that. I just very <laughs> so God bless you, my brother and sister. So let us be on our feet. Let's be on our feet. This I will come to the end of this uh, sign this. So I don't want to take your time again while the song service is going on. I just seize this opportunity to testify to what God has done for me. And our precious pastor, God will continue to increase you. God will continue to see you through, stand in the gap for you, fight all your battle for you. I've been to many assemblies, local assemblies. I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm talking about. If you have been, you know. Honestly, there are some local assemblies. They are always only their pastor and they are, and they are close friends, close brothers. They don't want anybody else to be like them. If you are trying to make it in life, they will hate it. They will hate you. Pastor, Andy King, for that matter, I before others. It's a bad spirit. They will say, okay, oh, you, you bought this thing. They will not be happy for you. They say, ah, is this thing, you see, you see, it resembles so, 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 so of, of my brother. They just want uh, him and the brother alone to be, make it in the life. It's a bad spirit. Bad spirit. See that our pastor at time, he would like to even to, to, break, to break our head and put faith there. You see, that's how it should be. He wants every one of us to make it in life. God will help us in Jesus' name. I will continue to increase him, fight all his battle for him, and God will, will give him may he live long may we live long so that we can keep on enjoying this benefit we are enjoying we cannot get the benefit from other churches go there you see what they are doing see what they are doing God will help us in Jesus name so let us pray sorry for that we request our brother our papa to lead us in prayer sorry Amen. 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 And to embrace positivity in every Amen. situation. Help us, Lord. It's not uh, what a man can do. Amen. We need your grace and your spirit to quicken us. Amen. To make us oh, constantly be positive. Confess Amen. positively. Lord, may we cannot do it by yourself, by ourselves. Amen. That's why we're asking for help upon our lives, Lord. Yes, sir. And from this day forward, may we this be determined that anything that comes from our mouth in the form of confession be positive. Amen. Be faith in you, Lord. Faith in your word, O oh Lord. Amen. Father, help us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, our brother, for bringing him back safely also from his trip. Amen. Thank you for the opportunity to stand before you this morning. Amen. Bring your word. I pray that you strengthen him, O oh Lord. Amen. Father, may you renew his strength, O oh Lord. Amen. Lord, as have opportunity to present for, him, present for him to hear again to teach. May you put fresh anointing upon you, Lord. Amen. May it be so, Lord God. Amen. The rest of the service and so, Lord. May you come and take perfect control, Lord. Amen. Lead us the service, the song, the song service. That when the pastor will come to bring the word, may you anoint him, Lord. It's a new day, O oh Lord. The day the Lord has made. Amen. Let the joy, O Lord, fill this place. Amen. Lord. Anoint him with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Give him utterance and bold to declare the whole council word. May it be, be a blessing to us this morning, Lord. Amen. Let it be so, Lord God. Amen. Those are blessed yet coming, Lord. Bring everyone safely, my Father, my God. Amen. Thank you for answer. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' my name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Let us clap unto the Lord. I appreciate Him. So, without wasting most of time, let us sing this song. Why the song later will come? Take my life and let it be. Take my life and let it be.
。